What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, former college pitcher and pitching coach and founder of CyclePitchList.com, the best place to look at stack-ass data for all pitchers. It's the best player pages you'll find on the internet. We're going to talk about Corbin Burns, and I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. He is just, I think it's too easy. We just know how good he is, and there's not much else to say, right? But I haven't watched him with you guys, and we got to do that. We got to watch him. So we're going to watch the second inning here against the Giants. Should be a very quick one. And we'll just watch him dissect this offense. So he starts off by throwing a cutter back door. And that's what he does. Uh, lots and lots of cutters. 95 miles per hour. That's a cutter at 96. And if you're thinking to yourself, that is insane. That looked like it was a slider. I'm like, yeah, that, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> Essentially, it was, the, it was that at 96 miles per hour. Which makes Corin Burns just so good. If you want one example of what makes Corin Burns amazing, it's this pitch. Just, that's insane. That's a 1-0 count for an aggressive Brandon Bell hoping to see a fastball inside, and it just falls off. I mean, that, that doesn't start here and come back, you know, it doesn't start here and go underneath. This is here and then comes off. It's insanely filthy. Oh, my God. Um, then he does that. That's a changeup. Oh. Oh. This comes out of the hand and he thinks this is going to be like a two seamer that comes off that way maybe or maybe it's that cutter that comes off this way um but what happens instead is that's going to be a change that comes down that way and it's little things like that the, the different change of speeds nailed it i uh, that that make it so hard because you have to angle this right with your bat especially when it's low and you need to get the timing right and this is a 91 and 996 and that's all the difference and that location down like that, mm, so much harder to make that adjustment. Oh, backdoor cutter? I tried. And you can't, you can't see that with this, this camera angle. Not the best one. I mean, from where he is, like, that's this is not that great. Uh, you know, you want more, like, straight on, as we've seen, like, the John Gray yesterday. But that's coming back to the plate, right? So even that miss that you just had came back this way. Just didn't get far enough. Uh, to the zone. Uh, go back inside. I mean, he swung and missed on that before. Yeah, 97. That's insane. You can't say no to that. You just can't. This is this is biting in. This is going from here to here. Ugh. It's so good. And it's coming in at so, such high velocity, you know? That's the problem. And he's commanding it like nothing... Nothing that entire at bat was here. Nothing. It was all here. You know? You just don't see this. He's trying to get first pitch at uh, Kerbal for some free of real estate. Couldn't get it. Tries to do backdoor cutter. Couldn't get it. Look at that. Look at this. Hardest four seamer fastball. I don't know if this is right. I don't know. This isn't correct. Uh, I know Spencer Strider is higher. I believe Sandy Alcantara is higher in his four seamer. Um, maybe the maybe that's like seven ninety seven point nine, but I know for a fact that Spencer Strider and Hunter Green, Hunter Greens is higher. I, uh, but that might be I don't know. I don't, that, that's a weird that's weird to me. This stuff, sinker yeah third shit good, change up who is the higher one. Probably Sandy. Uh, yeah, Sandy's above 90.2. I don't know. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So, so like, all the other stuff against Brandon Belt, as we as I mentioned, was all around here. And he finally puts one here, and this is also a 2-0 count, right? Uh, so, you can't throw this. Now, because he's Corbin Burns, and this is uh, uh, Luis Gonzalez... And it's the Brewers who know how to shift. That's an out, right? That's three things involved there. Like if you just <laughs> if you just get like, okay, this is a two zero fastball right here. How is this an out? Well, it's Gonzalez, it's Burns, and then it's the Brewers, right? <laughs> Love that. I uh, that's kind of funny to me because that normally is a hit. That's a two zero fastball down the middle, and generally guys are looking for that. That's just the rule. You get first pitch uh, free real estate with the slider on a, on a call outside. 
I'm glad you, see, you get it, Burns. This is also against a righty now and not a lefty. And it's kind of interesting that we saw the, the curveball trying to go for a free real estate against the lefty. Against the righty, he's trying to do with a slider. A little bit different there for, for Burns. And you want to know something crazy? His slider has a near 30% swing strike rate. It's because he throws it at 90 miles per hour and everybody's just waiting for that cutter and trying to time up to it. And you can't tell the difference between the two. It just has so much ridiculous drop. Like, so much. Oh, my God. Can we watch that again? We're going to watch that again. Of course we can watch that again. We're going to watch that again. I mean, ugh, just disgusting. And now that you saw him swing at that one, you kind of want to throw it again over here, but you could throw like a backdoor and fastball. You can throw a cutter off of this. You can throw a cutter that starts here and just goes like that if you want. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I mean, he overthrew that one. Mmm. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's such a hard cutter to to hit. It's like one of the best pitches in the game. You know, I mean, this is in a bad location inherently. He's not trying to hit that spot is why I'm reacting like this. But like this is moving. This isn't straight. This is this is coming down, you know. This is doing all ridiculous things and it's just overwhelmed. I mean, that's Corbin Burns, guys. He throws strikes. He hovers the edges. He has a ridiculous changeup. He has a ridiculous slider. He has free real estate with curveballs normally. What are you going to do? The number one four-seamer velocity, apparently, in the majors. So, so yeah. Uh, that's Corbin Burns, this wonderful man. You are so good. And I feel like, I don't know, we just know how good you are. And it's been underrated this year because Sandy Alcantara has done wonderful things. Tony Gonsolin had and so on. And Corbin Burns is still like the number one pitcher in baseball. So that's going to do it uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to try and do an Otani video just for you guys. I know some of you wanted it from yesterday. Uh, I'll see if I can do one over the weekend just as a bonus video um, for that last start because it was just so good. Um, that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.